Hey guys, you uh, <laughs> probably thought I didn't know how to make a real video anymore. Uh, it's, I don't know what the temperature is right now. So, uh, somebody, I think I just saw, posted that it was supposed to be 109 today. Uh, which I think yesterday it was 111. Um, welcome to Bakersfield. It's uh, got bacon the name, you don't want to live there. Um, <clears throat> Wow, so that that's part of the reason why I've been posting a lot of the stuff on the, if you've been keeping track of the things I've posted, uh, I've been posting uh, that Let's Play, the little video game for the, uh, the Minecraft. Um, it's just me sh staying out of the heat. The only problem with that is, uh, like the first four videos took about, you know, I don't know. I, I think I shot. I, I think I played for about an hour last week, and so yeah, that <laughs> it doesn't take long before you know you've got more content than you need. I mean, I, I've I've got a I've, I'm backlogged in the, in episodes of that, and uh, um, <clears throat> you know I. I haven't even posted them. There are just there's just so many of them. They're kind of filling up my hard drive. Actually, I need to uh, take care of that. But uh, we're working on the forge today. Um, actually, working on the bellows uh, more specifically. Got to build the framework for them to to hold them up so that we can actually you know so that they're actually in position where they need to be and we'll actually start to be able to operate them. Uh, let's take a look so, what I got. So, anyways. Um, <clears throat> Got it up on the jack stands here. It kind of gives it the roughly the height that I need it to be. Uh, I don't have the front. The front's not lifted up. <clears throat> I haven't decided. I think I could probably mount it that way at an angle. I don't know why it would make any difference, but I think I'll mount it so that the center board is level. Um, but uh, yeah. Anyways, got an idea how I'm going to build the framework. It's just going to hold it. Um, it's just it's going to be almost like an individ an independent unit so that it it uh, you know if I change the 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 arrangement that I've got here I'll still be able to use the bellows by simply you know moving the entire framework and setting it somewhere else so uh, let's get started and see what happens.
that's it for today. It's I'm uh, I'm cooking. Uh, anyways, that was the bracket. That holds it in place. Uh, next thing I think is to figure out the linkages to the bar. You know, to pull it and uh, counterweight. There'll have to be some brackets made to attach to the to the bellows. You know, to actually attach the rods and linkage. Um, then we've got to figure out how to get the air out of the end of it to the twir. And, uh, <laughs> and I, then there's not really any way to put it off any longer. We'll have to get some uh, coal slash charcoal and uh, load that up and at least make a fire in it. Um, wow. It's only, uh, let's see, something I figured probably only take a couple of weeks. It's only been uh, about a year now. So, anyways. Oh, one quick up. I wanted to do one little quick update. The uh, the motor, the 289 for the Falcon. Um, took it apart. I took it over to my machinist friend, and the, the the heads. I took it apart. Didn't like what I saw as far as the valve grind was really kind of in. The, there were some issues with the valves and the shims on the springs were mismatched, and it was just kind of a hodgepodge kind of job. Uh, it would have run. It would have been all right, but. You know, I, it was one of those, I just, I want longevity out of it. And I wasn't sure I was going to get it with that. So, uh, just so you know, the engine, the engine is in a trash bag all wrapped up to keep all the metal out of it. And I pushed it kind of out of the way. So it's nice and clean, but, uh, <laughs> I should be getting the, I have, hopefully I'll get the heads back tomorrow or the next day. Um, so, uh, hey, till next time. Bye.